Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts. Your Lions were down on the road 13 to 7 in Northwestern State, but had a big second half in Natchitoches. Here's the action. All right, come back out for the second half. We actually got the ball first, couldn't move the ball. They make a great play here, get it down in the scoring zone again. But once again, our defense gets a big stop uh, to hold them to a field goal try. Yeah, they, they, they made some great plays. You know, that was a one-handed catch for a conversion there. Here the quarterback scrambles, gets the ball down inside of five. Big tackler by uh, Theo Alexander. Uh, we're going to get down. This is a big play by Tyler Stoddard, uh, running the quarterback, tackling him down for, for a tackle for loss. I know our red zone defense was just outstanding in this ball game. Uh, they, they actually score here, but there was a penalty that's going to bring this back. Uh, so uh, that was a big call in the ball game. They have a holding penalty, but our red zone defense was outstanding. They had many chances in the scoring zone and only came away with field goals. Yeah, that was another big, big play there. A guy catches the ball and Tyler Stoddard knocks the ball out for a pass breakup. And that was, again, another huge play to make them settle for a field goal at this time. I know it's fans feeling a little uneasy at this point early in the third quarter. This is the play of the ball game right here. Xavier Roberson uh, with the big touchdown return on a kickoff return. Yeah, he's he is amazing. Um, you know, he's leading the nation in kickoff returns. He was national player of the week this week. Also conference player, the special teams player of the week. Uh, he is an electrifying kickoff return man. And, uh, whole unit did a good job getting a hat on a hat, but you know, he's the one that makes the whole thing go. It totally swung the momentum, Coach, at this point. You could feel the energy get sucked out of their building. Right. That, that was a big-time play, and Xavier's done that many times for us, just make big-time plays when, when we need them the most. Seth Sebastian Banks through the extra point. This makes it a 16-14 to 14 game. We're going to see another big special teams play, back-to-back -back special teams plays, as they make a mistake here, let the ball roll out of bounds, and they actually have to start at the one-yard line. Yeah, that was a, 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 see this one right here is a big sequence of plays. You know, we're going to end up scoring with a safety uh, of nine points in 20 seconds. Um, and that's a big turning point right here. We're going to see Kevin Harmon come off the backside, tackle their quarterback in the end zone for a safety. And uh, like I said, we've scored nine points at that point, uh, tie the ball game up. And uh, you, you could feel us can uh, regain the momentum and the confidence we needed to finish this ball game up. So it goes from 16 to 7 in just a matter of moments. It goes to 16 to 16. Our offense is back on the field. Another big completion to Jeff Smiley. Yep, and there's Jeff Smiley doing what he does. He, he finds ways to get open, catch the ball, make a lot of yards after the catch. You're going to see another one here. Uh, good blocking from our receivers downfield as well. It's crazy how momentum goes in college football. You know, we're doing okay offensively, but then all of a sudden you get the two big plays in special teams, and now our offense couldn't be stopped. It goes right down the field for a touchdown. Yeah, and this would be uh, Cody Sutton. Great surge by our offensive line. Great job by Cody keeping his feet going uh, and, and just driving that ball in the end zone because he's hit around the three, four-yard line and really carries the pile into the end zone. So Lions go up by a touchdown, 23-16 to 16 at this point. Uh, you got to give them credit. They come back uh, and hit some big plays and get down in the scoring zone. This is a big play by uh, Q there. Q had a great game, about 10, 10 tackles on the night, uh, but makes a great play there on the, on the guy uh, uh, in the flats. Uh, this is a, we jump off sides. They know they got a free play. They throw it up. Todd Washington slips, falls down and they get uh, six points out of it. They did miss the extra point though, so we stay up by one, uh, 23 to 22, and, uh, and get right back on the march offensively. As uh, we switch over to the fourth quarter, a chance to try to go up by two scores here. Xavier Roberson uh, <laughs> flat runs over the umpire there and gets it inside the five yard line. Runs over the umpire, again, uh, just great uh, you know, tenacity there. Um, driving that pile for about 10 yards, taking us down about two yard line, and then uh, Brian Bennett's going to take this one in the end zone on a quarterback sneak from about two yards out. His second rushing touchdown of the ball game puts the Lions up by, but by seven, and then with the Seth Sebastian extra point, go up by eight, uh, and then the defense uh, gets right back after it. Big stop by Harlan Miller there. Big stop on a crossing route. Makes the tackle in a lot of space. Uh, they're going to throw one up here. There's Denzel Thompson goes up with a, a great uh, pass break up there on the deep ball in the end zone. And then th this is a strange sequence here. They line up, they're going to kick an, uh, a field goal. They actually miss it. Then they try to fake a punt, and our defense sniffs it out here and gets the ball right back for our offense. Yeah, that was something, obviously, that a uh, great job of Coach Pope. Uh, we had practiced that fake all week long, and our guys were ready for it when it happened. 
So here's a quarterback run by Bryant, who had another big game run in the football with two touchdowns. Also had nearly 100 yards rushing in the game. And a big interception there by Denzel Thompson. Yeah, Denzel Thompson, huge pick on an under route. Comes, uh, just steps, undercuts the receiver, picks the ball off. Big play for him. I'm excited to see that. Here's a chance to go down and, and put some more points on the board um, with the offense trying to get physical and just running the ball. Yep. Big run, Cody Sutton, and then Rasheed Harrell finds, you know, bounces the ball back outside, makes a great run down inside the one yard line. And this is the score that's going to put us up by two scores and uh, pretty much ice the game at this point. They're in desperation mode from here on out as uh, our team goes up by two scores. All right, so the Lions win at 37 to 22. Before we talk to Coach Roberts, let's go back out to Turpin Stadium and check out some reactions by some Lion players. So we're going to get everyone's best. Um, we, you know, we've had some success early this season, and you know, it, it kind of puts a target on your back. You know, people, you know, respect when they respect you, they're going to play their hardest against you, and that's what we got from Northwestern. You got to take your hat off to them. They, you know, they came out and they played real hard. Yes, we just got to get back focused. Um, this game is over with. Starting tonight. After tonight is over, we just got to come back Monday and get ready for Lamar homecoming and focus. They actually threw it at me a lot that game. I just had to be patient and eventually my opportunity is going to come and I just had to take advantage of it when it came. All right, Coach, we just heard from three players. All three of these, these guys had big ball games. Obviously, Xavier's big cut touchdown uh, for a touchdown, the return, and also Brian Bennett uh, continues to move our offense. And Denzel Thompson, you know, he's a guy that had a big game last year against Northwestern with the big yeah. sack, and now he had a big interception in this one as well. Yeah, he did. He had a big pass break up down the sideline. Line, also a deep ball and then uh, comes up with a big interception there at crunch time. Well coach your team goes in the locker room you're down 13 to 7 at one point you're down 16 to 7 but you end up outscoring Northwestern 30 to 9 in the second half. You didn't have a whole lot of success running the ball early in the game but when you needed to to run the clock out and really take over the game you're able to run the ball and enforce your will. I know that had to make you proud. It was huge. Uh, you know it, it, was a, it, was a, it was a great win on the road like a win in the conference play. Uh, I was pleased also that our, our kids didn't panic. Uh, we knew what we had to do, and we went out and did it in the second half. We talked about it on the walk over here today, Coach. It's kind of hard to believe, but this is the first time Southeastern football has won four games in a row since 1983. Four in a row, 2-0 in conference play. Uh, you got to feel good about your team, and, and, and they're playing with a lot of confidence right now. Yeah, they are. They were playing a lot of confidence. Uh, we're, we're healthy, and we're ready for this, this stretch of conference play. All right, let's take a break. we come back, we'll have a lot more for you right here on Inside Southeastern Football with Head Coach Ron Roberts. 